Let's try factoring this quadratic equation using chart method. The way we'll do that is start by looking at what multiplies to whatever this c value is times whatever this a value is. In this case, 6 times negative 5. That's where this negative 30 comes from. It's a result of a times c. And we need to find a pair of numbers that multiply to negative 30, a times c, and add to whatever this b value is, in this case 13. So let's think carefully. What multiplies to negative 30? Well, 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4 doesn't work, but 5 and 6 do. But there's a shortcut I could take. Since I'm multiplying to a negative number, I know that one of these numbers has to be negative. How about 1 and negative 30? Well, that works for multiplying, but 1 plus negative 30 doesn't add to 13. Okay, how about 2? Let's try making that negative. Negative 2 and 15. Yeah, they multiply to negative 30. Oh, and look, perfect. Negative 2 plus 15 gives 13. I've got my two numbers. That was pretty quick. But I'm not quite done. I need to set up a chart. And I need to ask myself, how am I going to get the answer? Well, I'll put the 6x squared in the middle here, and I'll put negative 5 down here. That comes from this term's coefficient and this term, just a constant. Now, I'll take my two numbers from n, negative 2, and call it negative 2x, and 15, 15x. What I've done is complete the lower part of the grid using the A and the C, but I split the B, the 13, into two pieces. 13 becomes negative 2 and 15, so 13x becomes 15x and negative 2x. Now I want to split up this 6x squared. I need something that goes into 6x squared and negative 2x. And that number is going to be 2 and an x, because 2x will go into, that'll divide, 6x squared and negative 2x. When I divide 2x by 6x squared, that is, I divide 2x into 6x squared, what I'm left with is 3x. And I can check. 2 times 3, 6. x times x, 6x squared. I'm doing well so far. The 2x also has to come out of this negative 2x. It comes out by dividing. So divide negative 2x by 2x. You're left with minus 1. Same thing for this column. This 3x has to be divided from this 15x. 15x divided by 3x is 5. And if I've done all that right, my corners, 5 times negative 1, should multiply to negative 5, which they do. So I'm pretty confident I'm correct. That is, my factored solution, I'm going to read this top row, is 3x minus 1, and then this column, 2x plus 5. I can always check my work by expanding those brackets. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. I'm just using FOIL here, first times first. Now, outside times outside, 3x times 5, which is 15x. Now, inside times inside, negative 2x. And now negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. And when I simplify those two middle terms, indeed, I get back the question. Therefore, I'm pretty confident in my solution. The factored form is y equals 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 5.